Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give an example on correlation coefficient. Okay, see the statement of the given problem. Find the coefficient of correlation and the two regression lines from the following data. So here a data is provided to you. By using this data, you have to find out coefficient of correlation and uh, the two lines of regression C. Here first row represents age of husband. Second row represent age of wife in years. Okay. If husband age is 25 then given that wife age is 18. Similarly age of husband is 22 then age of wife is 15 and so on. If age of husband is 18 then age of wife is provided as 16 this is the given data so we have to estimate the values of this following c first one is we have to estimate age of wife when husband age is 30 okay we have to find out the age of wife when husband age is 30 because husband age is 30 is not provided in the data okay so you have to estimate the value of age of wife when husband age is 30 years. Similarly, we have to find out the age of husband when age of wife is 19 years. Okay. Before going to solve this problem, I want to explain the definitions of what is a correlation coefficient, what are the types of regression lines and what are the definitions of regression lines. See. See. Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient is also known as simply correlation coefficient. To measure relation between the given two variables x and y. Geomarkally, we can use the correlation coefficient. So, we can use the correlation coefficient to measure the relation between two variables x and y numerically. Okay. And uh, the correlation coefficient is generally denoted by R of x comma y nothing but you should read this one as correlation coefficient between x and y sometimes it is also simply represented by small r and we can find this one by using following formula c this is the formula for correlation coefficient between two variables x and y c r of x comma y is equal to summation summation of x into y by n minus x bar into y bar whole by root over sigma x square by n minus x bar square into root over sigma y square by n minus y bar square. This is the formula for finding Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Here see the notations. Here x bar means mean of the x series. And we can obtain by using this formula sum of all x values by n. n is nothing but number of given data points of x and y in the given data. For example, see in this problem. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 points are given here. We can take age of husband as x and age of wife, age of wife as y. So number of given data points is 10. Don't forget it. So similarly y bar means mean of y series which is obtained by sum of y values by n. Okay, and don't forget one important point here. The range of correlation coefficient always from minus 1 to plus 1. Okay, don't forget this one. So, minus 1 is less than or equal to, r is less than or equal to plus 1. Okay, this is the range of the correlation coefficient between any two variables x and y. And one more important thing is, if x and y are independent variables it means that y is not depends upon x and x does not depends upon y then the correlation coefficient between these two independent variables is zero okay don't forget it if x and y are dependent variables then only we can find out the correlation coefficient or by using this formula now see the regression lines uh, everybody knows that there are two types of regression lines. Two types of regression lines. One is regression line of y on x 
and regression line of x on y. We can obtain regression line of y on x by using this formula, which is y minus y bar is equal to small r into what is small r? Correlation coefficient into sigma y by sigma x. What is sigma y here? Standard deviation of y series. Standard deviation of y series. And sigma x is known as standard deviation of x series. Don't forget these things. Whole into x minus x bar. This is the formula for regression line of y on x. Okay, here small r into sigma y by sigma x is called regression coefficient of y on x, which is denoted by byx. Now see the regression line of x on y. x minus x bar is equal to r into sigma x by sigma y into y minus y bar. Here this is called correlation, sorry, regression coefficient of x on y. This is denoted by bx1. And one more important point is relation between the correlation coefficient and uh, regression coefficients, which is r is equal to root over byx into bxy. Nothing but r is the geometric mean of byx and bxy. Okay, this is the relation between r and regression coefficients. Now see the problem. First of all, we have to find out the correlation coefficient only. After getting correlation coefficient, we have to find out the both regression lines. See. Already we discussed that this is the formula for correlation coefficient, which is sigma xy by n minus x bar into y bar whole by root over sigma x square by n minus x bar square into root over sigma y square by n minus y bar square. We have to find out this all sigmas, all summation values in a tabular form. See this table. So in this table, first of all, we have to write the x values. x values are nothing but ages of husband in the first column. And in the second column, write the ages of wife. And I am taking age of wife as y. So, write y, y values in the second column. Now, what is the third column? Product of x into y. Next column is squaring the x values. And last column is squaring the y values. So, what are the x values? See here. 25, 22, 28, 26, 35, 20, 22, 40, 20, 18. Just I am copying these values from the given data only. And uh, write y values here in the second column from the given data. Okay? Now, we multiply the respect to x and y values and write here. 25 times of 18 is 450. 22 times of 15 is 330. Similarly, you have to fill these all terms. And 18 times of 16 is 252. So, similarly, squaring the x values here. 25 squares is 625. 22 squares is 484. By using scientific calculator, you can easily get these all values. 28 squares is 784. Similarly, you have to fill these all values up to 18 square, which is 324. Okay. Similarly, Squaring the y values and write here. Okay, 18 square, 324, 15 square, 225, 20 square, 400, and uh, 16 square, it is 256. Okay, after that, please add these all values by using your scientific calculator. So, if we add these all values, you will get sum of x. Okay, this is nothing but sum of x values. And similarly, add these all values, you will get sum of y. And uh, you have to add these all values in your calculator. You will get 4554 which is known as summation of xy. Okay. Uh, similarly, this is summation of x square. You can add these all values. You will get 7002. Okay. Please add these all values in our calculator. You will get sum of y square which is 3036. And uh, we are observing that the number of given data points is 10 here. So, divide these all values with n. Divide. These are all values with n. So, 256 by 10. This is nothing but mean of x series, x bar. This is sigma y by n, which is mean of y series. This is sigma xy by n, which is the first term of the formula. Okay, 4554 by 10 is nothing but 455.4. Similarly, 
summation x square by n which is 700.2 summation of y square by n which is this one 303.6 okay we have to find out these all sigma values by using this table okay after constructing this table now write the formula for now write the formula for correlation coefficient we know that r is equal to write this formula summation of x y by n minus x bar into y bar by root over sigma x square by n minus x bar square into root over summation y square by n minus y bar square replace these all values from the table what is sigma x y by n see here sigma x y by n is nothing but 455.4 okay 455.4 minus x bar is nothing but 25.6 into y bar means 17.2 by root over sigma x square by n is nothing but 700.2 minus x bar square is nothing but 25.6 whole square similarly you can also write the values in the second root and calculate this value in your scientific calculator you will get 0 0.8 already we discussed that the range of the correlation coefficient should be minus 1 to plus 1 so here 0 0.8 is lies between minus 1 and plus 1 okay don't forget to check this one okay and remember one more important thing this is very very important thing here in the denominator the first root is known as standard deviation of x series okay this is the formula for sigma x sigma x square by n root over sigma x square by n minus x bar square this is the standard deviation of x this is the standard deviation of y series that's why automatically you will get standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y series as 6.7 and 2.8 okay so anyway we got r is equal to 0 0.8 now we have to find out the both regression lines first i am i am finding here regression line of y on x see y minus y bar is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar replace all values from the this table okay what is y bar 17.2 what is r recently we got it is 0 0.8 what is sigma y 2.8 what is sigma x 6.7 okay i am replacing these all values in this formula again we have to calculate this one by using scientific calculator okay the value of this one is 0 0.3 take this 0 0.3 to inside you will get 0 0.3 times of x minus 0 0.3 into 25.6 is nothing but minus 7.68 so, and take this negative 17.2 to this side it becomes positive anyway you will get this is regression line of y on x okay and we have to this is equation of the equation of the age of the wife age of the wife okay that's why put x is equal to 30 x means x represents age of husband so put x is equal to 30 you will get the age of wife when husband age is 30 so whenever we have x replace it by 30 you will get 90 okay 18.5 to 18.5 is almost approximately equal to 19 that's why we should conclude that the age of what is the first question age of wife we have to find out the age of wife when husband age is 30 years that's why age of wife is 19 years that is the advantage of regression lines see similarly we have to find out the another regression line also this is the second regression line which is regression line of x on y by using this formula we can easily find out the regression line of x on y which is x minus x bar is equal to r into sigma x by sigma y into y minus y bar replace x bar by 25.6 see in this table we got x bar as 25.6 and y bar as 17.2 which is in the right hand side okay and uh, we got correlation coefficient r as 0 0.8 in this problem and what about sigma x 6.7 and sigma y is 2.8 replace these all values in this formula and calculate by using your scientific calculator you can easily get the equation of x okay take this 
constant to right hand side and simplify the terms you will get x is equal to 1.91 into y minus 7.25 this is equation of age of husband that's why put y is equal to 19 y is nothing but age of wife okay so whenever we have y replace it by 19 you will get x of 19 is equal to 1.91 into 19 minus 7.25 by using scientific calculator you will get 29.04 Since it is S, I am converting into approximately twenty nine. That's why what is the conclusion? Age of husband when age of wife is nineteen is twenty nine years. Okay, this is the advantage of the regression lines. Okay, this is very very important problem. So please do practice well. Thank you very much.